This is how to use a Bunsen burner. This is a Bunsen burner used for controlled flame. There are a few other parts that go with it. You need a gas line, a hose that's free of cracks, and you need to have some ignition source. This is a striker. Right now the gas is off. Let's just practice using the striker. In this, there's a piece of flint and something rough so that when I squeeze it, sparks should form. Sometimes squeezing it is not enough. Sometimes you have to push down on the flint in order to actually get sparks to form. Now the Bunsen burner. There is a collar that I can turn to control the amount of oxygen that gets inside. So right now it's all the way open. This should allow the maximum amount of oxygen to get in. This is all the way closed. Limited oxygen can get in. This is going to control the size and temperature of the flame. Now the gas is off, but once it's turned on, in order to light this, you don't want to hold the striker too close. You don't want to hold it right over the top covering it. You want a 45 degree angle. Think about those devices used to extinguish a candle. They go over the top. If this is too close and face down, you're going to have a hard time lighting it because it's essentially putting out the flame like a candle extinguisher. So you want to put it at this 45 degree angle in order to let oxygen in. So I'm going to turn on the gas and ignite it. So you can hold the base of the Bunsen burner and manipulate it around to heat something. Or if you want, you can hold tongs with something over the top. Make sure you keep the flame away from yourself. But as you can see, the collar is all the way open. The flame is a bit smaller, blue, this should be hotter. If I close this part of the way, the flame is orange and less controlled. This should be a bit cooler. Never, ever, ever walk away from the flame. If you need to walk away from your bench, you need to turn the gas line off. This is also the proper way in which you turn off a Bunsen burner. Turn the gas off, Bunsen burner should extinguish. So let's say you're having trouble igniting this. Let's pretend the gas is on and you keep striking over and over and over and you just can't get it to light. Do not just indefinitely try. If the gas line is on and this is not currently lit, you are generating a plume of gas. And once it does light, you really don't know how large your plume of gas is. So if it's taking you more than a couple of attempts to light this, you need to turn the gas off. You need to give your fume hood time to suck away the gas.